So the next graph we're going to look at is the weighted graph. So when we're actually dealing with the edges in our weighted graph, we won't put in 1 and 0, 1 indicating that an edge exists, and 0 indicating that 1 doesn't. We will actually populate the graph with the weighted values. So we have our rows and columns are labeled with ordered vertices. And what we want to do is to fill in the table by writing the weight value, if there is an edge, between the row vertex and the column vertex. And we want to put in 0 if no edge exists between them. So let's run through this. So let's say between B and W. Well, there is an edge, and it has a weighted value of 10. So ideally, we'd put 10 in here. So let's iterate through the whole lot. Between V and V, there's no edge. So we can very quickly just try and put in a 0, which is fine. Between V and W, well, there's a weighted edge of 10. So an edge exists, and it has a weight of 10. So we put that in. And now let's say between V and X. Between V and X, no edge exists. So we put in 0. Between V and Y, there is an edge, and it has a weighted value of 4. So we put in 4. OK, so we iterate the whole way down through our table. So between W and V, W and V, there is a weighted edge. So we see it here, W and V, and has a weighted value of 10. So we try and put in 10. And then we will go between W and W. So there's no edge, so it's 0. Between W and X, there is a weighted edge, and it has a weight of 1. So I put 1 in. Between W and Y, there is an edge. You can see it here. And it has a weighted value of 6. So I put in 6. So keep going. Between X and V, there is no edge. So I put in 0. I'll try and make it a little more like a 0. Between X and W, there is an edge. You can see it here. So we have a weighted value of 1. Between x and x, there's no edge, so the 0. And between x and y, we have a weighted edge, which is 2. OK, now we have between y and v, there's a weighted edge, you can see it here, which is 4. Between y and w, there is an edge, so it has a weighted value of 6. We have, between y and x, we have an edge, which is going to give us a value of 2. So we put 2 in. And then we have, between y and y, there's no edge on this, so it's 0. So if we look back uh, over our table, we see that we've populated all of the edges. Now, obviously, this isn't a directed graph, so some of the edges have overlap. So you can see between V and W, we have between W and V, which is 10, and we have between V and W, which is 10. So it's basically been represented twice in our graph. So that's our example for populating our, our table for a weighted graph.